evaluation of the aorta from AAA is a critical ability to have in the emergency department. For that indication, either this probe can be used or the larger footprint curved probe can be used. This is a very useful probe in patients who have a more generous body habitus where the panis needs to be squeezed out of the way. In smaller, thinner patients, this is just as good. Done in two orientations, both longitudinal and transverse. The probe is taken and placed in the midline of the abdomen, just below the xiphoid process, and aimed directly to through to the back. On the monitor, the lower portion of the heart can be seen to be beating, and the aorta is coming down next to the liver, and the probe is fanned down, assessing the aorta and its longitudinal track through the abdomen. In someone who's slim, sometimes you have to decrease the depth in order to not waste the real estate behind it. And you work your way down to get to the bifurcation, into the iliacs. You seen that may be confusing, especially if a patient is slim, is that sometimes one can see the superior mesenteric artery as it comes off of the aorta up in the epigastrium. This is not to be misconstrued as the aorta, which follows in parallel fashion through the abdomen. Also in this area, the celiac trunk can be seen taking off. In most more rotund patients, however, the aorta is the primary vessel that is seen. transverse section, uh, one starts also at the epigastrium uh, with the dot towards the patient's right side. In the epigastrium, you can see here the aorta, the superior mesenteric artery, and the IVC. Please note that pulsatile motion can be seen in both the aorta and the IVC, so you cannot use that to differentiate between the vessels. Immediately behind the aorta is the bony structure of the spine, which the aorta sits immediately in front of. What you'll see now is I'm walking down the abdomen, showing aorta here, spine here, IBC here. Aorta, spine, IBC. If I place enough pressure on the abdomen, I can compress the IBC. The aorta tends not to be as compressible. And sometimes you have to compress quite hard in order to dissipate the bowel gas that lays over that area. As I walk down, I'm going to the point that the aorta bifurcates into the iliacs. Here. And then I have interrogated the aorta in its entire length. The AAA cannot be ruled out unless the entire aorta has been evaluated.